Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Trying something different. I'm not sure well I should have this microphone, to be honest. It was uh, off to the side. Now it's in front of me. I just like having it in the shot, you know? So, from the other video, drew it out too long. So, new title. How did you like 2019? What were the good points? Well, we have. I do not have shyness on camera, microphone anymore. However, that can still be a thing. Shyness in video games. Let plays, in other words. Then we have the second point being... We have the VR chat, Avi, commentary. Then we have the music uh, that I showed recent uh, last month. The belt that needed to be shown gets my music out of there, show it to the world, and see what happens. Then we also have the tons of organic blogging, video, uh, spirit blogs that I wrote, read. I should have finished the Book of the Law, however, I never got around to do that, and never got around to do, to read Emerald Tablets of Thoth, and I also never read the Lost Book of Enki uh, either. So, for the future, I should try to read more uh, magic books, fan fiction, Cross fan fiction, whatever it is, just read. Why not? We have a lot of fun on Instagram as well. Totally quit Facebook. So that's dead and more dead. Went to Instagram. Left Twitter as well only because I was not playing Warcraft at the time, showing screenshots from that. Um, overall, the year was chaotic, as usual, but more so because YouTube has a demonetized bot hanging over our heads. So that fear is always there. Will I be demonetized? Will I be banned from YouTube? And that fear is always there in the background. So without that, the yield was pretty good. Minus the fact that I was brutally harassed, brutally attacked, uh, multiple ups and downs with personal life. The one good thing I should say is finally got rid of my demonic ex who I never met in person. He finally left. Then again, I did mute him so he can't come back. Because that's a thing. But after what he did last time, I'm like, so you, the whole time, the whole time I knew you, you made stuff up in your head that was not real, and you enforced that thought, even though it was false, you still lived by that even though I changed your mind once because I cleared it up, I was wrong. 
he went right back to the false thought. And after that, no, you're dead to me. You do not exist. You are nothing more than a energy vampire. A demon, a low-life person. Sir, we try to get along over and over and over again, but the point is, you cannot do this with a negative person. Every time I tried to get along with this vampire, what happened? My energy was fed on and I was stressed out. I was always looking over my shoulder. I was not in a healthy state. I, I was not at peace. I was not in balance. I was always in chaos because of that person. So you can tell me to love your enemies, forgive them, however I see the double-edged sword that that quote is. And I have to call, call it out when I see posts like that, knowing the other truth to that story. But once again, that is my opinion. Until you have a similar story, then you can side with me. Because if you never had a situation like that, you will call me out to be crazy and what am I doing? Go, go crazy. Love your enemies, love your, forgive them, etc. No, I won't, can't, will not do. Tried it once, never again. So that's also been the theme for 2019 as well, just learning lots of different life lessons, continuing to grow, to become what I am, and during that time, that demon hated me for it. And he accidentally said it once, and I'm like, really? You admit that and then try to tell me otherwise to try to change my mind because you turned a leaf? No. No. Not gonna happen. You know, it's like that one Spongebob episode, well, uh, that one son, I can't think of it. The fun son, I think? Or was it the friend son? Anyways, Plankton tries to turn over a new leaf but he didn't. So, yeah. That episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Overall, the Yelp had its ups and downs. Crazy evolution stuff. Like, becoming what you are doing what you are meant to do, born to do, losing people, losing friendships, losing your sanity at the times, feeling like you could burst out of your body, feeling like your wings could explode out of your body. Um, I've heard of bunch of different stories I'm just paraphrasing right now. Uh, for me, it was just getting over an element, an illness that haunts me, apparently, to this day. Except it has gotten better, easier to manage now that I have the proper tools and I listen to what my body requires. Um... Just dealing with 3D normie stuff, going through normie stuff as a 
being of light, going from 3D to 4D to 5D. It's a process. It does not happen overnight. Do you continue on? Um, I think that, that is everything. Until we meet again. Also, there is this one photo that I forgot to show earlier. This has now been added to my intro. For it is the tagline of my channel. Core concept right here of what I am doing 